Welcome to the second Thursday before the week following the break preceding course selection at HHS. Who writes these scripts? Hello, Hopkinton High School. For HHS Today, I'm your host, Chris Pomeroy. Today, we'll bring you lots of new stuff and some old favorites. But first off, guess who's got fan mail? After our last episode, here's what we heard. Quote from somebody in my advisory, best episode yet. Also, somebody in the hall said that they were glad that the show was back and that they missed Minute with the Principal. All right, those are almost direct emails from fans. Cool. Thanks, and be sure to keep the comments coming. Let's address that last one with a new Minute with the Principal. Hi, I'm Nate Shingleton. This is Minute with the Principal. We thought we'd get to know our beloved principal a little bit better. Oh, beloved. That was very nice. Thank you. What made you want to become a principal? Oh, uh, the, uh, getting the parking spot, the closest parking spot to the school. Fair enough. What was your favorite school day ever? My own or right now? Your own. Uh, probably the last day of school. All right. What is the toughest part of your job? Toughest part of my job is reminding the students here at the high school that I don't make the decisions on snow days. If you had to choose, would you say you prefer cheese to be sliced or cubed? Oh, sliced, definitely. You? A little bit of both. A little bit of both, okay. If you were a giraffe for a day, what would you plan on doing? Are you calling me a giraffe? Do you want to be called a giraffe? I guess it could be worse things. I'd probably want to run as fast as I can. They can run up to 35 miles an hour, you know. Mm, learn Tim here every day. Mm. All right, thank you, Mr. Bishop. Thank you. Now there's some information you didn't know you needed. On our last episode, we had our first HHS debate segment, where the debate club battled around the idea of, should HHS have online school during snow days? Well, the votes are in, and the no way crowd carried the day, kind of decisively. That segment was a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to the next one soon. And now, it's time for a club interview. Today, we're checking out the robotics club called Hop Kinetics, which you can see here in this time-lapse video Mr. Scott made. To see the whole clip, visit our website. When was this club started? Uh, honestly, can't say for sure, but we've been doing this for definitely a long time. If we're talking about VEX, just started this year. Here, usually, you're given a challenge, and it's every year it's different. So you want to build your robot so that it would meet the specific challenge and you would be able to achieve it as fast as possible, to be as efficient, and really to be the best. I mean, having fun is also a thing, but that's more of an afterthought. We usually want to win the competitions because it's a nice thing to have. We've won the Excellence Award once, we've won the Journal Award twice, and the Judges Award once. Yeah, it's Design Award, my apologies. We have probably more members than I'm actually able to count. Um, we, we're not limited to just the club, we also have a class. So basically everyone in the class plus the people here right now. Uh, we meet after school uh, from 2 o'clock to 4.30 at C206. If I were in that club, you'd see my robot carrying my backpack around. Or maybe my water bottle. Speaking of water, that's a transition. We received an email from a viewer asking us to look into what's happening with the water issues at Hopkinton High School. So, here's the update. The superintendent sent out information concerning copper and lead in the water, and you can see those at our website. Also, Director of Buildings and Grounds, Mr. Rogers, will be working with the Town Water Department in the next few weeks to figure out where the copper and the lead is coming from, which will tell them what to do to eliminate it. Now, let's take a short break, and we'll be back with Question of the Day and a brand new segment you're not going to want to miss. This break is a PSA, or public service announcement, produced for a Girl Scout Silver Award project by Sammy Altman and Megan Murchie, who made it at HCAM TV. Take it away! Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text, just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. It's not just good advice, it's the law, everyone. Stay tuned for a brand new segment, but first we bring you Question of the Day. Today we're asking, what's your favorite phone app? 
I use the podcast app a lot. It's really cool. I love like This American Life and NPR Politics and Invisibilia. My favorite app is Spotify because I love music. Probably the email app just because I use it every day and it's what keeps me up to date on everything that's going on around me. I think definitely Venmo so Mr. Gates can pay me money. I don't want that. Uh, favorite app? Uh, chicken wings, I think. So you want like a computer app? I'll give it to Mr. Gates. Go ahead. My favorite app is the new one I got that finds Mr. Finn for me when he's in school. My favorite cell phone app is uh, Spotify because I get to listen to music all day. It's pretty fun. My favorite app is WebMD because I like to diagnose myself with stuff I do not have. Uh, Snapchat, because it's the one you use the most. You just always snapping people. Get that streak up. For me, I can't live without my Angry Birds. And now, it's time for that brand new segment brought to you by our own Nick Bradley. Welcome to our newest segment, Pet of the Month. Today's pet is Mr. Scott's cat. Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about my cat. Uh, he has a few aliases. He's known as Larry. He's known as Scooby because he's as big as a dog. He's also known as Mr. McCookiepuss. He is 26 pounds. He's a Maine Coon cat and he's 42 inches from his tail to his nose. Uh, he has a few oddities, one of which is if you open the dishwasher and empty it, he would go to the other side of the house and cry. Uh, if I sneeze, I'm the only person in the house who'll do this, he'll cry when I sneeze. Uh, he will only talk to my wife and he'll only drink out of a bowl of water that is moving, so we have to have a water fountain in our house. That was something. If you have an awesome pet, let us know and maybe we'll feature you. But right now, we have to bring you this week's Have You Seen This Update. Over to you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Here's this week's Have You Seen This. It's a photo of this vending machine right here. And we have exactly no winners this week. Really? Are they really that hard? Or are we just not making the prizes delicious enough? Well, that's it for this week. Back to you, Chris. Right, well, we'll try that again next episode. There's no Have You Seen This for this week due to the break. That brings us to the end of this episode, but not the end of everything we have for you. Visit our webpage at hcam.tv slash hhstv to see additional online-only content right up there at the top. This week, you'll find an additional Minute with the Principal, so check it out. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with another episode containing, if you can believe it, even more new segments. And if you have cool stuff we should know about, suggestions for what we should be doing, complaints, or just to tell us how cool we are, let us know at hhstv at hillers.org. That's it for now. Stay safe over the break. And we will see you next time.